Now, from this lecture, we're going to start what is MongoDB and understand how to use it in the MERN application. So, what is MongoDB? MongoDB is an open source document oriented database that is designed to store large scale of data and also allows you to work with that data very efficiently. It is categorized under the NoSQL database. It means not SQL because the storage and the retrieval of data in MongoDB are not in the form of table. Now, there are two types of databases, SQL and NoSQL. In SQL, we have the data in the form of tables and in the NoSQL, we have the data in the form of documents. MongoDB database is NoSQL database. So let's see how the MongoDB database looks like. In MongoDB database, you have the database and inside that database, the MongoDB database contains the collection. Just like the MySQL database contains a table. You are allowed to create multiple database and multiple collection in MongoDB. In the database, you could have multiple collections. Inside the collection, we have the documents. These documents contain the data we want to store in the MongoDB database. And a single collection can contain multiple documents. It is not necessary that the one document is similar to another. The documents are created using fields. Fields are the key and value pair in document, just like we create an object in JavaScript. For example, here you can notice we have a simple JSON type data. The data stored in MongoDB is a format of JSON document. JSON stands for binary representation of JSON document. And JSON stands for JavaScript object notation. In the backend, the MongoDB server converts the JSON data into binary forms that is known as JSON. And this JSON is stored in the queries more efficiently. In MongoDB documents, you are allowed to share nested data. This nesting of data allows you to create complex relations between the data and store them in the same document. Here is the example of nested data. I'm going to just create a simple object of a JSON and create a simple key and value pair. And inside the same object, we have another object with the key and value pair. Now, I hope you have enough information about MongoDB. If you want to know more about MongoDB, I will make a dedicated course on it. But this is the MERN stack course. So we are focusing on the important concepts about all MERN languages. If you want to know how you can locally install the MongoDB, you can check out my dedicated video on MongoDB. The link is in the description. In this course, we are not working on MongoDB locally. We are using AWS server to store MongoDB database. Enough theory. Next, we're going to start working with MongoDB.